Hi everyone, I'm Taylor at Grind with the Griffins, and today I want to tell you about a homemade garden amendment that we use. It keeps our costs really low and our garden very healthy. If you look at nature, you can see that plants grow without extra watering or added amendments. The rain seems to be all that these plants really need to survive. It also appears that there are certain areas that do naturally better than others, typically areas that have been untouched by development or landscaping or synthetic fertilizers or other amendments. Here's a very basic explanation of what happens in nature. In a forest, for instance, trees drop their leaves every year. As the leaves cover the ground, microorganisms both on the soil and in the soil, are protected from the sun, as well as they have plant matter in the form of the leaves to consume and be able to reproduce. As the microorganisms decompose the leaf litter, the nutrients in the leaves becomes re-available to the roots of the trees. Thus, a forest is a self-sustaining ecosystem with robust colonies of yeast, bacteria, and fungi. Through Korean natural farming techniques, we're actually able to use those beneficial yeast, fungi, and bacteria in our own gardens. So our soil gets a substantial boost of those robust microorganisms that help break down plant debris that feed nutrients to our plant's roots. The creator of Korean natural farming, Cho Han Kyu, created a system for collecting and culturing indigenous microorganisms, or IMO, using a box of cooked rice. We've personally struggled to collect IMO in this way because our climate is so dry, and typically the forest floor needs to be a little bit more moist for you to be able to collect those natural microorganisms. However, the son of Cho Han Kyu, Young Sung Cho, developed a simplified version of Korean natural farming techniques called Jadam Organic Farming, and this greatly simplifies the process for us and makes it really easy for us to use. In Jadam, you create a microbial solution that uses leaf mold soil, which is just the soil directly below the leaf litter in a forest, and you culture it using cooked potato. Jadam Microbial Solution, or JMS, can be diluted and then applied directly to plants or it can be applied directly to bare soil or mulched soil undiluted. To make JMS, you will need a five gallon bucket, a fine mesh strainer, a cheesecloth or a paint strainer works great for this, a cover or a lid, and a watering can. You only need four ingredients, leaf mold soil, water, cooked potato, and sea salt. Here's how to make JMS. Start by collecting soil underneath the leaf litter in an undisturbed forest. Dig down below the layers of leaves and scoop up a bag of soil, take it home. This will be your microbial starter. Cook a potato and wait for it to cool. Then mash up the potato and strain it and the leaf mold soil, just a small handful will do, through the paint strainer into your five gallon bucket of water. Once you've thoroughly dispersed the leaf mold soil and the carbohydrate in the form of the potato, you can add a handful of sea salt, and then you want to cover your five gallon bucket and wait. You want to wait until you see foam or bubbles starting to form on the surface of the water. This can take anywhere from 24 hours in really warm climates to several days in cooler climates. If you don't wait long enough before using the JMS, you won't have many microbes to disperse into your garden. If you wait too long, the microbes will finish their supply of carbohydrate and they'll start to die off. Typically in the summer, we see the bubbles start to form within 36 to 60 hours. And in the shoulder seasons, this can take up to three days or even four days for us to see the foam develop. This is what peak foam looks like. This is what it looks like when the foam has peaked and, it's, and the microbes are starting to die off. This is still totally usable. It just won't be quite as potent as when it was at peak foam. There are several different ways you can use JMS. The first way is the simplest. It's as a soil drench. This is just when you take the JMS undiluted and you pour it on bare soil or mulched soil. And we recommend that 
when, when you do this, you also fit, follow it up by watering in the JMS into the soil because then the microbes go deep into the soil and can fully populate the ground. You can also use this directly on your plants that are in the ground or in pots. If you do this, we recommend that you dilute it one part JMS to 10 parts water. So for a five gallon bucket of JMS, you'll need 50 gallons of water to spread it across your garden. If you apply it directly on your plants, undiluted, you run the risk of burning the root systems because the microbes are so strong. When we water JMS onto our plants, we use a two gallon watering can. There are 256 ounces in two gallons. So we will take 25 ounces of JMS and dilute that into our full two gallon watering can. If you wish to treat the stems or leaves or flowers or fruit on your plants, you can also use JMS as a foliar spray. Just be sure to thoroughly strain the JMS so that little pieces of debris don't stick to the plant. JMS can also be used in seed starting. As you saturate your potting soil with water, you can add JMS at a rate of one to 100, one part JMS, 100 parts water, and it'll give your seeds just an extra added boost of microbial energy. If you have leftover JMS, you can add it to your compost pile as a microbial inoculant. Finally, Young Sung Cho claims that JMS can be used to treat a variety of different skin conditions, specifically athlete's foot. He recommends soaking your feet in the JMS for 10 to 15 minutes, once a week or as often as you make it. Okay, that was a lot of information and it may be a little overwhelming if you haven't heard any of this, but we really hope that you try out JMS to see how it impacts your garden. We also recommend that you make it multiple times you probably won't see an immediate change overnight just from one a one-time use on your plants. But from our experience and from others, uh, this stuff will make your soil a lot healthier and help your plants grow much more easily. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, would you give this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more content.